advanced drag and drop email builder will let you create eye-catching and effective emails to quickly convert your prospects into your clients. Now, it will be really easy for you to stand out in your prospects inbox. This is Nabila from Mailman and today I'll show you a brief overview of our advanced email builder. So let's get started. So as you know, in today's video, I'm going to show you all the email builder blocks that we have available on our MailMint email builder. So I'm going to go ahead and show you each one of them and discuss how they work. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on campaigns, new campaign and regular email campaign. I'm just going to go ahead and design my email. I'm going to go ahead and click on start from scratch. So here's the basic outline that is set up by default, right? So you can see that I have some uh, email builder blocks right here, which are text, image, button, social, divider, spatial block, hero, wrapper, footer, products, and posts block. So in today's video, I'm only going to show you the free blocks. All right. I'm not going to cover products and post blocks in this video. For that, I'm going to create a separate video. All right, now let's go ahead and start how it works. So first, I'm going to use the wrapper. So I'm going to drag this and drop it before the footer. So what wrapper does is this will allow you to structure your email in a proper way so that it does not break when you add multiple blocks in your email. So let's say i'm going to add a text block here and then i am going to add an image block after the text block so you will see once you uh, check it in the front end that the text block and the image block will not clash or break whatever browser you use it in. all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this I'm just going to simply add one by one and show you. So basically, you can see that you can edit the top, right and bottom and left padding of this wrapper. You can also add a background image for this wrapper as well. And you can also set a color. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and give color like this. So you can see that the color of my wrapper has changed, right? So uh, let's go back. Now I'm going to add a hero section in this wrapper. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it and drop it. So once you do that, you can see that the hero text has been highlighted inside the wrapper, right? So what this hero section does is it's a design technique that involves using images, short, compelling, uh, CTA or copy to make your content more attractive all right so let's say I'm going to promote a product in this specific email so I can change the hero text into and you can also change the font size right so let's go ahead and click on 13 or you can see that it has changed you can also make the font size a little bigger so that's about it you can also change the text inside the hero content keep it or delete it whatever you want i'm just gonna delete the whole thing together and i'm gonna show you another trick so once you go back to the email builder you'll see that there are two more options here which are layout and styles so if you go to layout you can see that you can uh, select one two three or four columns to drop inside the wrapper or the email itself so if you click on two columns and drag it here you'll see that now you can add two different builder blocks inside these two columns so let's say I'm going to promote a product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image block and drop that here. And I'm going to select the text block and drop it here. Let's say I'm going to make it visually aesthetic a bit. 
and I'm going to add the image. Let's say these are my available products here. So let's say I'm going to add this dress image here. And I see, write something like summer dress available. I'm also able to change the font size here. Let's say I'm going to give it 20 px. I can also change the alignment or I can also change the color of the text. Let's say I'm going to pick this background color and you can see that the text color has changed. Now you know that the image block will make your uh, product or brand recognizable and your company relatable. When you use the right image, you can drive more customers. So for this case, you can uh, highlight the image of your product and it will increase the chances of your uh, user purchasing the product very fast. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you another email builder block, which is the button. So I'm going to go ahead, drag it and drop it here. And I'm going to write, get this dress now now what you can do is you can also add links to this specific button right now i'm gonna go to my woocommerce shop so let's say woocommerce shop and i'm going to find out the product let's say this is the product that i'm showcasing on my email i'm just gonna go ahead and copy the link and paste it here so this is it this is how you can add a button and add a link to it so that you can uh, take your users to that specific product page you can also do that with the product blog but in a more advanced way which i will show you in another video now let's go ahead and let me show you how you can change the appearance of the button as well so i'm gonna go here if i scroll down you can see that there's an option to change the back background color of this button I can go ahead and click this color and you can see that button color has changed. I can also change the text color which I'm not going to do now. You can change the typography, text decoration, borders, radius, anything. You can also do the same things using the text block as well. So in the text block, I'm going to show you another thing which is the personalization tactic. So if you want, you can add your users first name last name and even company name to personalize the email a bit more so that's about it for the text block button block and image block you can change the images however you want you can also change the padding the you can also add a link to the image as well and you can also change the details of the image now another email builder block that we have is the social block so if i drag it here you can see that by default a channel name facebook has updated here you can upload the icon of the exact social link you're adding to your email if you want to add multiple socials here then you just have to copy this and another icon has been created here as you can see you can change the name to let's say twitter and you can see that it has been updated now the next email builder block we have is the divider for example if i drag it under the first section you can see that a divider has been created between these two sections this builder block is basically used if you want to divide two sections in your emails now for the next block which is the spacer this is similarly another block which will help you create a space between two sections just like the divider now for the last email reader block that we have is the footer which is default added in my email builder now you can also edit whatever you want inside the footer if you don't want to keep your business logo name and address here you can just simply delete this and you can also change the text here let's say if you want to write that
so which means that you can simply edit this section as well if i go back the last thing i want to show you is the styles you can change the whole theme settings as well so you can change the font family size height weight text color background content background and user style however you want so that's about it for the free email builder blog so this was a brief overview of mailman's advanced email builder this is it for today i'll see you in my next video